Stand and unfold yourself. Long live the king. Bernardo? He. Tis now struck twelve. Get thee to bed, Francisco. Give you good night. Welcome, Horatio. Welcome, good Marcellus. Has this thing appeared again tonight? I have seen nothing. Well, sit we down, and let us hear Bernardo speak of this. Last night of all, when yon same star, that's westward from the pole, had made his course to illume that part of heaven, where now it burns, Marcellus and myself, the bell then beating one, Peace, break thee off! Look where it comes again! In the same figure, like the king that's dead. It would be spoke to. Question it, Horatio. What art thou, that usurps this time of night together with that fair and warlike form in which the majesty of buried Denmark did sometimes march? By heaven I charge thee, speak! It is offended. I'll cross it, though it blast me. Stay, illusion! If thou hast any sound or use of voice, speak to me. Stay and speak. Stay. Speak. Speak. Tis gone. Break we our watch up. Let us impart what we have seen tonight unto young Hamlet. This spirit, dumb to us, will speak to him. Let's do it, I pray. And I know where we shall find him. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. But two months dead. Nay, not so much, not two. My mother married with my uncle. But break my heart, for I must hold my tongue. Two nights together had these gentlemen, Marcellus and Bernardo, on their watch in the dead vast and middle of the night, been thus encountered. A figure, like your father, armed at point exactly cap pay, appears before them, and I, with them, the third night kept the watch. The apparition comes. I will watch to-night. Perchance to will walk again. My father's spirit in arms, all is not well. For Hamlet, hold it a fashion and a toy in blood. Be wary, then. Youth to itself rebels. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep as watchman to my heart. But good, my brother. Yet here, Laertes, aboard, aboard, for shame. Affection, Pooh. do not believe his vows. I would not, in plain terms, from this time forth, have you give talk with the Lord Hamlet. I shall obey, my lord. Look, my lord, it comes. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I'll speak to thee. I'll call thee Hamlet. King. Father. Royal Dane, oh, answer me. 
What may this mean, that thou, dead course, Again in complete steel revisitest thus? It beckons you to go away with it, As if it some impartment did desire to you alone. You shall not go, my lord. Hold off your hands, I say away! Go on, I'll follow thee. I am thy father's spirit. If thou didst ever thy dear father love, Revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder. Tis given out that sleeping in mine orchard a serpent stung me, But know thou, the serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. Sleeping within mine orchard, my, upon my secure hour, Thy uncle stole, with juice or cursed heaven and in a vial, And in the porches of mine ears did pour the leprous distillment. Thus was I sleeping, by a brother's hand, of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched. Oh, horrible! Oh, horrible, most horrible! If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not! But howsoever thou pursuest this act against thy mother ought, leave her to heaven. Fare thee well at once. Adieu, adieu, Hamlet, remember me.